Hello. Oh, I'm way too tall. <laughs> That's what I get for adjusting my camera when we're not on screen. Okay, there we go. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another Live to Roll show. I'm your host for the day, Brianna Wheeler, and we're back with another Women's Disability show. Today, we're just going to talk about kind of the end of the year wrap up a little bit and play some games and do a fun Christmas Christmas tag that Ashley sent in for us. So we're going to ask some Christmas questions and uh, just have a good time with us. Unfortunately, Maya and Jessica couldn't join today, but we have Sean in here. So we're going to do introductions and then we're going to get straight into it. So I'm Brianna. I was injured six years ago, seven, almost 17 years ago. I was wrongfully shot and I live in Los Angeles, California. Let's go to Ashley and Nikki. Oh, you guys are muted. Uh, or no, you're not. There's no sound. Not sure what happened there. Oh, wait. Did you hear them? I'm actually having trouble hearing both of you guys now. Oh, really? Or you just got really quiet. It's just really, really quiet. Oh, hold on. I got it. There we go. Hello? Can you go Hello? now? Hello? Fixed it. My, that was yes. my fault. My fault. Oh, guys. darn it. Issues. He didn't okay. want you to be heard. Not <laughs> I don't know how that got switched, but the, yeah, the sound bar got down. I'm sorry, you guys. Technical difficulties. <laughs> okay, no worries. We're going to rewind it back. We're just going to pretend like that never happened. <laughs> so, yeah, go uh, ahead. Nikki, you take it away. I'm Ashley. I'm Nikki. <laughs> I'm a T4 quad. I'm a T6 paraplegic from a car accident in March of 2019. From Chicago. From Chicago, baby. <laughs> Thank you. And let's go to Sean. Um, all right, yeah. I am Sean. I'm a C5, C6 quad from hey. a snowboarding accident um, 18, almost 19 years ago now. So. Uh, and thank, thank you for you, thank you. having me on the ladies show I know Sean was our quick little fill in because I was like um I don't know what to do right now <laughs> but it, we're always happy to have you since it's the end of the year wrap up anyways we felt like it would be a fun little game so we always love Sean on right he's always on anyway so, Luke. yeah, he's, yeah. <laughs> he's always on lurking in the back anyways so what's the difference <laughs> So do you uh, have right. any um, videos, Sean? Did you do any end of the year videos or are we just going to do the Christmas tag questions? Uh, no, I didn't do like another video. I just okay, I okay, wanted okay. to play the Friendsgiving video. But like I, uh -huh. I just mentioned to Brianna before, um, I got to figure out something with the copyright, with the sound. We can play the video. It just won't have sound because uh, YouTube flagged me for, for putting it in our video on Tuesday. Uh, because it's uh yeah because Eric used the copyrighted Have you sound. To it without sound? Um, I haven't watched it without sound, but I mean, oh, I wonder, I wonder how it would still look because I get so excited when I watch it, I, and I just feel like, but maybe because we're there that it feels a little different. I'm not sure. Okay, so we're just gonna get started with this, and I'm gonna ask Ashley. Have you ever built a gingerbread house? Oh my gosh, yes, yesterday. <laughs> You're so excited. Yesterday. And she did it was her first one, right? Yes, let me pull up a picture. Oh. <laughs> yeah, show us some pictures. How was your experience? <laughs> yeah, tell us about your experience. Uh zero out of ten if you don't like to get messy. <laughs> you don't you didn't like it? It's been yes. Nice, that's, that's so awesome. Fast gingerbread house. Yeah. Uh, they have all kinds of upgrades now. I used to, I feel like they used to be so hard, but I feel like nowadays the kits look a little bit more easier. So I'm almost tempted to try again. <laughs> I've never built one still. She was supposed to build it with me, but you wasn't she there. decided to build yeah. it without you. <laughs> Ashley did it all on her own. She's fake. No, I had help. I rolled my real back. Yeah. 
<laughs> That's hilarious. So do we all, so how does this work, Ashley? Do we all answer the same question yeah. or do we each just take turns? Yeah, you guys can answer. Okay, cool. what was the question you guys want to, you know, if you guys have a story? What was the question? Gingerbread houses. So you've <laughs> never built a gingerbread house, not even when you were little, Nikki? Not that no. I recall. That was my first. I was going to say, I don't think, I don't remember ever building one when I was younger, to be honest. Maybe I did when really? I was young. Like, it wasn't a thing know. in our house. I must have when I... Uh, I don't even remember really seeing them like that, except on the TV. I thought they were Yeah, fake. no, I just remember, like, deciding to eat all the candy. And, like, I remember even doing one in school. I remember doing one in school, too. That's a, maybe but I did one in school. Maybe. Maybe, maybe it just wasn't that significant. Maybe we could have, like, a literal <laughs> gingerbread house party. <laughs> Yeah, I'm always tired, trying to make everything a party. All right. Okay. Uh, so let's go to Nikki. You want to ask the next question? Okay. Mm -hmm. What's your fa favorite like tradition, if you have one, over the holidays, or like something you okay. do? <laughs> yeah. So who do you want to ask first? Uh, Me? let's go. Oh, yeah, Brianna. Okay. So Christmas traditions. I feel like now it's kind of just hanging with family and. That's kind of the tradition. Um, on Christmas Eve, we'll usually go to my boyfriend's house because they do it on Christmas Eve. And then on Christmas Day, we're here with my family. And we just kind of take the day to eat food and usually have like a dinner together because we don't normally all eat at like the same table or anything like that. So it's kind of just a day to enjoy each other's company, hang out, you know, um, get some Starbucks or make some fraps in the morning. Um, also, I always love smoking with my brother Brandon on Christmas Eve. It's my one day a year that he lets me smoke with him. <laughs> So I always leading up to it, I'm like, don't forget, Christmas Eve is coming up, and I always get so excited. And this year, we're actually going to Vegas to visit my mom, so that's gonna be a fun little ride back with Brandon. I cannot wait. <laughs> that's awesome. That sounds fun. That is fun. I didn't know Brandon smoked once a year. That's his. Uh... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's just one day where he doesn't give me shit about it. <laughs> that's for Jesus. Uh, that's for Jesus. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this one's for you, Jesus. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. That's so funny. Okay, who goes next, Sean? Yeah, Sean, let's hear from you. <laughs> um, I don't have any, like, really great traditions. But my only thing that I look forward to as my tradition is my grandma's ravioli because that's what she makes once a year because it takes, like, she's already been making it for days now like every day oh, hand making wow. these little raviolis and she does it once a year and that is like one of the things that i'm like every year i'm like yeah christmas ravioli so that's my tradition that's like my uh, <laughs> that's what i'm looking forward uh -huh. to for sure do you guys yeah. usually hang out with like more family like do you go to a specific family's house we do. We do. We go to my uncle's house usually which is fairly local so it's kind of it's like our local family that's still here in southern california because we do have quite a few that have moved out of state. My mom usually comes back for Christmas, though. She'll, she obviously, she'll drive back. Um, but, yeah, it's it's nice to see. It's the same group we do for, like, you know, Easter, Christmas, um, Thanksgiving. So I get to see them a few times a year. It's kind of like, but that is but that is it, usually. It's kind of like the holiday. And that is nice. That's another nice benefit is seeing the family and hanging out with everybody. Yeah, I agree. I just feel like Thanksgiving and Christmas should be spread out a little bit between family time. <laughs> I feel like it's a lot. It's, it's like, it's a little too much family time for me in like a short amount of time. Sometimes I'm like, damn, can we push this out a couple weeks, guys? <laughs> I probably sound so horrible saying that. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> um, Nikki and Ashley, do you guys have any Christmas traditions? Well, you go first. I ask the question. Okay, period. Um, I feel like some traditions have changed, but one that I recently like is us going to the movies on Christmas Day. Oh, is it packed? This, is we've it? done this now. If we do it this year, it'll be our third year doing it. So it's a very new tradition. <laughs> I love it. It's, it's never too late to start new traditions. That's what I realized, you know? Um, do you get, is it usually packed though? Or is there like a lot of people going to the movies? I feel like last year when we went, it was pretty packed. I was yeah, shocked. it I was, was. like, go home. Don't you I know, the families? year before, though, it wasn't. And then, yeah, hopefully this year it's not. 
And maybe it just the- depends on like the movies. Yeah, and then this year's on a Sunday, so I'm kind of scared that's gonna be. Oh, that's yeah. probably why it was last year because it's on a Saturday. So that's something. What's mine? Hmm. Oh, I have another one. Okay, go. <laughs> go to that beautiful house in our neighborhood that's decorated really pretty. Um, oh. It, we did that as a kid. There's one guy. Yeah, we've done that like every a, year. He owns like a, I think a. Well, he R.I.P. <laughs> he passed. Uh. No. <laughs> His family still decorates the home, so it's still decorated everywhere. Aww. That's so cute. I think that's yeah. adorable. I love all the lights at Christmas time. I think all the trees, everything looks so beautiful. It makes me so happy going down. I'm always looking at them. No matter if I drive down the same street over and over again, I'm still looking at the lights. I'm, I'm like fascinated with all them. I love lights. I'm a light person. I had to do an audition, and they're like, Pretend you like string lights and you're decorating for a house. And I was like, no problem, I got you. <laughs> nah. I don't um, okay, let's go to oh, Sean. Is, is it just me? Are we for- Huh? I think you guys are good. Okay. Oh, okay, we're frozen on our end. Yeah, we're frozen on our screen. Oh, oh. crap. <laughs> you, get, you still good over no, here. Not for- on our screen. Okay, good. Okay. Sorry. 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 <laughs> Um, all right, where's the, um, okay, okay, do you, oh. uh, <laughs> I'm just going through random, the random questions on the, on the list here, and I actually <laughs> did put them up here, but, um, uh, do you guys wear Christmas jumpers? <laughs> oh, gosh. That's a good one, that's a good one. What's a jumper? That's like a onesie, one. I think. Isn't oh. It? <laughs> Like a, one, year like a one year I wore One year. So who are you? Who do you want to call out first, Sean? Oh. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll call out Nikki. She's. She's ready. <laughs> I was already going. She's excited. <laughs> it was um we only one year, but it was a what was it? When? It was a reindeer costume, not a costume. It was a reindeer onesie for the pajama party, and we're having a pajama party again this year. But this year I'm getting. Should I get a onesie? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. I vote yes. yes. Then you can say yes. Yes. No. Do it. I can't relate to that question. We need a Christmas bucket list, you guys. <laughs> right. I like it. <laughs> do it. That's we need it. Yes and no, so, I guess. No. Do you guys yes. ever do like themed like dressing up or do you like go all out and like kind of dress up like nice? Do you ever do pajamas? Our family, like in the past, we used to do like good dressed up, like really right, nice. like really nice. I feel like, like cute. But this year, we're actually having Christmas Eve with our family, and they're doing a pajama party. That's different. Yeah, so it's a little pajamas. different because I don't think we've ever done that. We, unless it, we did it once with our like small family, but never with the whole family. So that's gonna be interesting yeah. to see. See the fits. <laughs> to see the fits. Should we do a Lorenz like, like what is it like Fashion Police? Oh, for we TikTok? should. We should. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely the, should. That would be so much fun. Of the jumpers. The, the question um, did actually I ask if, if there was pictures on the list uh, of questions. If there was pictures of the jumpers. So, <laughs> so next time. Uh, uh, we'll need yeah, some pictures of the jumpers. Just imagine a reindeer onesie with a hoodie. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine me rolling around in my reindeer onesie. Pull the reindeer. Um, um, okay, so for me, I feel like when I was younger, we used to do like the whole pajama things, but never like matching or like onesies or nothing like that. I've always been the type to be like, you're going to take a bunch of pictures of me. I'm going to hang out with people. I usually like would lock myself in the room and just get ready for a couple hours. And I feel like I'm still the same way. I'm like, this is a great opportunity to take pictures and have a good time. And then I don't like to be all like slumped out, just waking up, you know, (laughs) I don't like those pictures very much. So I like to get ready for the holidays. I'm very much one of those types of people, but we did do a um, pajama party type of vibe at my boyfriend's before and that was pretty cute we all got like matching um like plaid um different like plaid stuff so we had like different pajamas but the same like type of color scheme which was it was like the pictures came out still really cute oh no we lost them yeah 
It's okay. Uh, oh, no, they are. They're back already. Oh, okay. Your grandma's yelling at you in the comments. Just kidding. She's not yelling at you. <laughs> but she said that yeah. she makes it more than once a she, year. She, so she does make it on <laughs> Easter, and she does sometimes make it. She does make it, but, like, I feel like it's not as... <laughs> I don't know. Like, uh, it's, it's all about. The... She puts extra special love into the Christmas ones. Because did we That's just have? Right. I don't think we just. Maybe we did have it. Uh, <laughs> this year, this year was distracting with uh, all like our. Uh, that was like right in between the LA and Chicago expos was Easter. So it was like, no. you know, we had a lot yeah, of stuff going on. <laughs> love it, love it. Okay, Ashley, what's your question? Mm. What's y'all's favorite Christmas song? Ooh. Mm, Christmas song, Christmas song. I saw Ooh. that one on the list too, and I was like, I don't know. But... Oh, I know, I know, I know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this Christmas by Chris Brown. Of course, you're so good at the Oh, that's a new one. I haven't even heard it, honestly. I've seen been seeing titles on it, but I have not even heard it. No, that's a good one. This one's not new. Oh, no? It was with I the movie was... that came out years ago that he was in for Christmas. Oh, this Christmas. Did this he Christmas. just put out a video yeah, he about it? No, he put out oh, more okay, Christmas okay. songs. I don't know. I've never heard it before. They're good, too. Send it to it's good. It's jamming. Because they're, <laughs> like, they're like R&B. Ooh, love me some Chris Breezy. I know people don't like him. So don't cancel me. <laughs> <laughs> Shy girl. <laughs> uh, no, I love it. Um, yeah, there's not because there's not a lot of like hip Christmas songs. So I feel like sometimes my parents like, will want to listen to Christmas songs, and then I'm like, mm, this is putting me to sleep. Like I need to be able to cook to something that I'm vibing out to, you know. Um, and so there's like a couple random Christmas songs, you know, like Jingle Bells and All I Want for Christmas Is You, and like those fun ones. But other than that, I'm not a big fan. I'll have to send you my playlist. <laughs> I was gonna say I, I maybe needed like, a playlist like of more modern. <laughs> because we don't do that over here. <laughs> See, I, I'd be down to I check know. out the hip hip Christmas list because I pretty much just know the classics and like that's mm -hmm. cool with me. Like I'll listen to the Christmas classic songs, you know. Like it gets you in the Christmas spirit. I don't know if I have a favorite to be honest. I don't. Have like, I, feel like I don't, have, I don't like have one like I just jam Bell out to. <laughs> like whenever I'm watching like a reel with the Jingle Bell song where it's just like ding, 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 ding. I like that song. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Without the words. Uh, What's your favorite one, Ashley? Uh, where Are You Christmas? By uh, Faith Hill. From The Grinch. Oh, okay. Do Chris. See, do a little montage. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> That's a question. <laughs> that song's good. Because it's so cute. Uh, I love it. I know that song, though, actually. Yeah, from The Grinch. So, like, actually, if I think of Christmas movies, yeah, there's probably some good ones if I start to, if I really thought about some. Oh, yeah. I know. Christmas I was thinking about it when I saw it. Because there's original songs in, like, a lot of movies, so. Yeah. Yeah. So, let's just go into movies, then. What's your favorite Christmas movie? So... Sean, have they changed as you grew up, you know, because you're older than us, so, like, has it, like, remained the same? Do you have, like, an old-time classic? <laughs> that was not a dig, Nikki. <laughs> She's like, Burr. It's all good. I, I am the old, I am the old <laughs> one. <laughs> um, um, yeah, I guess, I don't, I don't know if they've really changed a lot, but, I mean, uh, like, the classic ones I liked as a kid and stuff growing up, like, I still love and, like, you know, like, um there's a ton of like movies that i've like a christmas story the classic you know like i grew up watching that because it was on tbs like every single like christmas for like 24 hours and like i'd watch it every year once a year but that's just one of those ones but like i love elf like when elf came out <laughs> like as like a I newer will ferrell like when, when that came out and like at the time like i was like yeah this is an awesome like it just was instantly great um and i'm gonna say one that i always tell people and they're always like that's not a christmas movie but it is and i watch it every year die hard die hard is a fucking christmas movie it takes place on christmas eve it's at a Christmas party. He has to get to his family for Christmas. It's totally a Christmas movie. So, 
Die hard. <laughs> oh, that's very tough. Okay, we'll let you have it. We'll let you have it. We won't argue with you on this one. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Nikki? Do you have any um, favorite Christmas movies? This Christmas? <laughs> with Chris Brown, for sure. Okay. Um, <laughs> Oh, and then there's another one. It's like, a, I don't remember the name of it. You probably know. It's called, it's like something, it's like a Puerto Rican themed Christmas movie. Oh, it's, Where? it's on Amazon Prime. Mm, let me not say that. Mm. Uh, no, no, I but, love those random Christmas movies that I, I literally have a bunch of them that I can't think of the names, but I just like watch them around Christmas time, you know? Home Alone is like, good. Home Alone is Home awesome. Is and one of my favorites too. I love Home Alone. Growing Home up, Alone, is... Alf, and Grinch, I think, would have to be top. The Grinch, movie. yes. <laughs> the Grinch is awesome, yeah. Another good one. There's so many yeah. good ones. I was just watching some. There's, like, new ones out, too. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a big day. Christmas movier. No. I what? can't watch them, like, around the year, but around Christmas time, I get in, like, my mood where I just want these, like, fake little love stories and, like, just love to, like, watch them. <laughs> and I get in my little moods <laughs> where I love to watch <laughs> these type of movies. So but I have a ran I another random them. question that's not on the list that I have just for you for you girls. <laughs> How, do you girls watch the Hallmark Christmas movies or the Lifetime? Because those things go off for like two months, nonstop. <laughs> I'm just curious because like my grandma, my mom, most of the women I know uh -huh. watch a lot of them. So just curious. <laughs> Yes, Nikki Nikki, <laughs> Nikki's like, Hallmark. <laughs> I, I was actually a fun story when I was in, what's the, what is it called? Rehab, when inpatient rehab. That's all I had on the TV. Christmas movies, Hallmark. Mm. Everyone Aww. hated it. It's so cheesy. This I don't care. This is what I want to watch. <laughs> I love Christmas uh, movies. They're just so You can watch cheesy. them like year round or do you just kind of get in the mood around Christmas time? Year round. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I can't watch them year round. I get like really into like the acting and stuff what? like that and like I'm not always in the mood for it, but I don't know around Christmas time when it's like cold and cozy and everything like that, I get in my moods where I love watching them. Yeah, that is better. Right. But they're just cute all year round too, but like around the Christmas time it just feels different with some hot mm -hmm. cocoa, mm -hmm. some popcorn, um, some Christmas Easy singing to you on the screen. Uh -huh. yeah, Can I shout out a couple from the, uh, we had a couple in the chat also, just, uh, oh, um, a Andrew actually put, um, Chris Muppets Christmas, Carol, and oh, Paul okay. agreed with me. Him and his daughter watch Die Hard every year. And his daughter... <laughs> That's the <a> real <laughs> comment you were trying to find. <laughs> and then, uh, my grandma also, uh, put in, uh, Rudolph and Frosty. Oh, Frosty. She yes. loves to watch. Um, oh, and uh, Paul mentioned the new Christmas story. I don't know if you guys watched it or not. It actually was pretty good. They made like a sequel to a Christmas story. I don't know. Um, is it on? A I think it's on HBO Max. Um, I thought I saw one but, on Netflix. Maybe I'm tripping, but maybe it was on HBO Max. I don't remember. But, yeah, I love yeah. them, but I wish I like remembered the name of them and stuff. Like they're not that uh, significant. I'll just like literally watch them in a row sometimes. That's funny. Good. I just you a list. Yes, girl. I love them. I'm getting in that mood already. Right now, like, since I have so much going on, I'll literally just watch Grey's Anatomy, but, or, like, uh, documentaries. I don't know why. Um, and my brothers always make fun of me and my dad, too, because he shares the Netflix account with me, and he's like, tell me why I always see Grey's Anatomy in the front of our continue watching. <laughs> and I was like, Leave me alone. I'll literally restart that shit. Like, I need to. I like to feel comfortable with my shows. I like watching stuff like over and over again. And I love like good character buildup. And I love good like plot twists. And I love like when the lights and when the camera angles are like different ways. Like, I love all that. So, like, shows like Grey's Anatomy where there's a lot of different characters really grab my attention. It's hard for me to like really stay focused on a movie where there's only like two people falling in love the whole movie and they're like live happily ever after it doesn't like grab my attention like usually like throughout the year um as much as the other stuff okay so you're you're like ashley then right you watch and the same y'all watch the same shows all the time yeah <laughs> yeah i heard it's an anxiety thing but i don't know if that's true do you guys think that's true uh, uh, do you think it's true 
like an anxiety thing yeah and depression thing they say oh like it brings yeah. you comfort because yeah you, it's comfort because you kind of like yeah. know what's coming next and i and i do feel that because when i'm watching a new show i love watching new shows don't get me wrong like mm-hmm. i love watching them all the time but there's a type of certain like nervousness that goes on with like wondering what's going to happen next you know and sometimes when your anxiety is already like built up or your depression's already built up i feel like it can kind of just send it like skyrocketing i don't know you guys that's are interesting that, but yeah no that's interesting because i I, re- I have a few shows that i rewatch, but like i'm kind of one of those people like i'm constantly watching like i finish a series like all right the next what's the next season what's the next series and i just keep going through like series of like yeah i just keep watching uh-huh. stuff like I'll watch through once something once, and like I'm, like I got the next thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what's the next series? <laughs> yeah, so. that's so funny. I love rewatching shows. It's not just Grey's Anatomy. I do it to like a lot of my favorite shows. As soon as I find comfort, and like I love watching new ones because it's like a new um, adventure, right? You're learning new people, and you're like watching new talent like okay. uh, arise and stuff like that. You know, so there's like a part of like intrigueness that comes with that but there's also like that part that I realize because I get caught out so much of it because of my Grey's Anatomy stuff is like when do I go into that habitat where I literally only have Grey's Anatomy repeat episodes that I've seen 15 times on my TV <laughs> and yeah so I, I related to anxiety is when I'm, my stress levels is up mm, not changing up, uh, episodes not trying to watch nothing new no new information coming out no, exactly. I can relate. I be watching on real all the time. <laughs> I'm glad that I'm not alone because I almost feel weird when I say certain things like that. I don't know. I'm like, mm, Brianna, are you just a weirdo? <laughs> Tad bit. <laughs> You're a weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so who's right? I'm weird too. Quad Life actually asked one that's on the list that I was going to ask. Um, okay. What's the worst gift you've gotten? Brianna. Mm. Bri- <laughs> I'll ask it for you. <laughs> Dang, that's a hard one. I feel like I'm very appreciative of my gifts. I usually I'm like whatever I get, I kind of make it, it work for me. So I'm not like super um ever like request something like super specific or something like that, even when I was younger. Um but of course you get those bad gifts, you know, that are like a two dollar makeup lip lip gloss that they saw, you know, that they want to give you or like a perfume that doesn't smell good, you know, or like a random ass keychain or something. But I feel like that's more like when I was younger, like teenage years, and they were just trying to find like stocking stuffers for me and stuff like that. They didn't really know what to get me because I couldn't tell them Mm -hmm. marijuana at the time. And (laughs) um, (laughs) they would just like put random stuff, you know, but now I really appreciate like those random gifts because there's things that like I won't go spend my money on in the store now that if my mom goes and she sees like a cute little set for me, she wants to get it for me, then, you know, I like it, whatever. I'll make it work. What about you, Sean? My worst gift? I was just thinking that too. Um, (laughs) I've gotten a few random things. um, Like, I'm trying to think of like some kind of funny ones. Yeah, because I know I've gotten some funny ones where I'm like, I remember thinking like, what? <laughs> like, but I'm trying to so, think of exactly. So let me ask you another question. Maybe as a quad, has your family ever gifted you anything that you couldn't use or you were like, what so, the hell? And that's what it was. There was a few early on gifts. Like, I want to say somebody gave me jogging shoes like a few years after my injury. Like, <laughs> like they're like, oh, I got you new shoes. Like, they're like running shoes. And I'm like, cool. Like, cool like (laughs) like if they were stylish i'd be like all right cool like dope i'll put them on you know but they were like straight like athletic like running style shoes and i was like all right you know like okay (laughs) that would have triggered me i would have been like what the hell Um, and i don't think they were thinking like they weren't thinking like they're just thinking because i i've always kind of worn out like like, I literally, my Nikes I have on right now, I think I've had for, like, seven years. <laughs> like, you know, like, I'll use for, I don't wear them out. So, like, I just use, keep shoes uh-huh. forever. And I think maybe, I if, yeah, I think that's what it was maybe, like, five, six years into my injury. Somebody was like, damn, you've been wearing the same shoes for the last five <laughs> years. Like, like yeah, I like them. They're comfortable. <laughs> but, oh, Sean, that's so I like funny. what I like. I picture you. 
Uh, being nice. Nice. <laughs> but still being nice about it. Okay, what about you, Ashley? What's the worst gift you ever received? I don't know. I was trying to think. I don't know if I've ever received like a horrible gift, to be honest. Hmm. Are you sure? Why can you think of one? <sighs> Not like really, but like I don't. But like, yeah, I received ugly earrings once, and I never wore them. <laughs> Did I remember that? Christmas? They were so ugly. <laughs> they were so. And I didn't. No, and I didn't have the. They no. didn't give a gift receipt, so it's like I had to keep them. Now like, you reminded me, but this is wrong. Live with my what? Should you not say it? Think before you say. <laughs> but it's true. Say it. This say it. Bad. Oh, Brianna is like say. It. One year, remember this, and you're gonna remember this. One year, I got this like perfume, and it didn't smell that great, so I regifted it. <gasps> like, <laughs> I love a good re-gift. I mean, that's the best, right? Just have to do a little switcheroo. The only thing that I've learned is it can't be anything. My mom loves to give me things that, like, I should, probably shouldn't say this either, but she loves to give me things that, like, I have to, like, put up, like, you know, like, little knickknacks and stuff like that. So I'm always like, hmm, is she going to come over here and be like, where the hell is this at? You know, I always have to ask that question. Like, are they ever going to ask to see this gift again? That's the real question. Uh. <laughs> and then I do remember Nick, someone got me slippers and I used to never wear slippers I'd wear fluffy socks remember? no you hated that? it's not that I hated it but like I was never gonna wear these slippers <laughs> <laughs> I used to hate when everybody, everybody got just the like, opportunity so to buy me a bunch of ugly clothes I was like girl no <laughs> I'll be having this this is not my style <laughs> It, out of all the things to get somebody, like, why would you get them something if you're not sure their style? Why would you pick clothing? Like, it doesn't make no sense to me, bro. Let me share you guys a story. Well, Ashley, you share it. No, you share No, it. you. Will you say it <laughs> When you got injured. It's a good injured story. Yeah, so when I got injured, you know, we get cold, right? My quad self. I get really cold now. Oh. And everybody, the first Christmas that I was injured, got me teddies. <laughs> so now I got uh. all these teddies in my closet that I don't even wear. <laughs> Because what's not even warm enough? <laughs> they aren't. I wear them. Yeah, he, she took some of them. I'm like, appreciate the gesture, but these aren't warm. But no. <laughs> <laughs> they only look warm. Yeah, they only look warm and stylish. I like them because I'd be hot. But she don't like them. She don't like them at all? Why don't you get rid of them? Oh, because you, you wear You know what? Them. I bought her some, too. So. <laughs> she, was part, she was part of me. <laughs> that is hilarious that is so funny okay oh. whose turn is the task or question Ashley's oh, no. oh you had some I thought okay but I need a look girl <laughs> I need to refresh uh, my memory uh, I guess it's, uh, it's time to take a little red this is a question red. on here I'm not this is not my question but like this like what have you ever visited the North Pole? Wait, though, wait, do I sound dumb? Is the North Pole real place? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Yo, what kind of stupid ass question is this? <laughs> That's interesting. I wonder how, what's the percentage of people who have been there? Or you just probably yeah, obviously. There. Yeah, I don't know. Who... <laughs> Ooh, what do you guys eat for Christmas? Ooh. Okay, okay. Heard some of Sean's Stop. already. Yeah, we heard. Yeah. You already heard some raviolis. For me, I feel like it's kind of different. We kind of like circle around the same things that we do for Thanksgiving, which is like usually like a turkey or a ham, some like sides, like mashed potatoes, um, like some deviled eggs, probably, mm. um, some chips and salsa, some stuffing, just some random stuff. It's like kind of whatever we're feeling at that time. It's never like anything specific, really. Sometimes we'll buy stuff from like Marie Callender's and get kind of like a dinner from there. And then sometimes we just make things from scratch. It kind of just depends on how we're feeling leading up to um, the date. Okay, okay. that's great. Fire. What do you eat? We eat lasagna. Well, you eat that. I don't like lasagna. That's why I said. That's what we do: ravioli and lasagna. That's our stuff at our. 
Yeah. Yes, my aunt makes that. My other aunt makes cornbread dressing, dressing which is so fire. fire with meatball Can't gravy. Wait for that. Ah! <laughs> and then um, greens, greens, yeah, with the things on top, the yeah. crunchy stuff. Dessert. Ooh. One of our aunts makes dessert. Mmm, yeah. sounds yummy. Chocolate chip cookies, those pecan thingy mabob things that are so good. Chocolate covered pretzels. Like she makes them from scratch, my dude. Oh, that sounds so good. Anytime I have an idea, they're like, okay, make it. I'm like, what the hell? I totally screwed myself on Thanksgiving. I was like, look at all these dishes, guys. And they're like, okay, make them. <laughs> I wish I had an aunt that made me dessert. I but made nuts that that. one year, and now everyone wants me to make them again, and I refuse. The <laughs> year I remember saying out loud to Jesus to never do it again. I said, D "Remind me to never do this again." Because it took so <laughs> long. Those nut cups, and I'm not trying to be the person in the family that <laughs> makes them now. Big. They was good, but I refuse to. Y'all never tasting them again. They were nasty for the last thing you know. That's why I'm not making them. They were yummy. They were disgusting. They were the most nasty nut cups I've ever had in my life. That was so hard to make. And I made like 100. That was so Dang. hard. Um, you just took it on out of nowhere? No, I like to bake, but not those. Mm. It take... just took too long. I'm an easy baker. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cookie dough already <laughs> made, bitch. <laughs> I feel like I like baking, but not on holidays. Like when I have to do multiple things, I'm not a big fan of that. <laughs> I never had to cook for the holidays. Oh my I could see how cooking out the holidays would be a like a pain. It would it'd be pretty hard to deal with. It's a lot of extra yeah, stress. Yeah, and to this add. last year on Thanksgiving, I had to like wake up in the morning, start building potatoes, cook all day for my family, and then after we ate, we went to Chris's family until like twelve. So I would, by the end of the night, I was so exhausted. I was so tired, but. I feel like that's also the switch from being like an adult to like a child. Like before I'm used to, you know, having my mom cook for me or, you know, grandma cook or whatever the case may be when I'm younger. But as I'm getting older and like making my own family and having like my brothers look to me and rely on me, having my boyfriend, you know, and like wanting them all to eat good too. It's like kind of having to take on that battle, you know, and do it. But I don't have a love for it. I definitely don't. <laughs> Listen, not I. Okay. Did everybody answer? I think so. No. You guys already no. answered? Oh, you already, oh, you yeah. eat ravioli and yeah, lasagna? Yeah, we eat ravioli and lasagna. And then, um, you know, we also have got a good desserts and snacks and stuff and things. Uh, my grandma also makes this. We actually, we had some at the Friendsgiving, these little Kaliski, they're called. They're like this little Italian, like, they're basically just like dough and powdered sugar, but they're good. <laughs> Yeah, they were bomb. They were bomb. I want dessert. Like, they're pretty good. Maybe I should focus on desserts this year. It was got me thinking now. Paul asks if anybody does cabbage rolls. I do definitely I, do not. I never I heard don't of that. Do that. Oh. Hell no. <laughs> what is that? It doesn't sound. No. I The appetizers are usually deviled eggs and cream cheese and celery. Ooh, I want some deviled eggs. I haven't had those in years. Should I make those? You should. You should learn to make them low key. High key. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look up some recipes online because I love looking at recipes now because it's just so modern and it's like you can take like years of experiences from these women who have been making this same recipe and like deciding what's like good and what's not good to add into it. And like, I love going and reading the comments of people that are like, I substituted this for this, or if you don't like this, try this. Like, I love looking up recipes. Even if I make something like multiple times, I still look up the recipe just to make sure I'm doing everything right. I'm a recipe person. Let us know how your deviled eggs go, Nikki. I'm excited. Okay, I'm looking at these questions, and I just want to know all of them. I don't know which one to ask. But I think I'm going to go with, are you a last-minute shopper, or are you organized and you buy gifts ahead of time? Sean, how's it for you, gift buying? Chaotic. <laughs> uh, back years ago, I used to be, like, super, when I had a lot of expendable extra cash, I was like on top of it early, buying what like trying to get everybody everything, but 
Uh, I've been a little broker the last couple of years and it turns into more of a last minute, like, who can I get, like, who can I afford to get what for, like, type of thing. It's been, like, the last year, like, it comes more down to, like, budgeting and figuring it out. Uh, <laughs> so it's changed. Honestly, I would like to get more of a prepper. I would, if I could have ordered and got everything a month ago and, like, Black Friday and, had all the presents, I, I would have liked that, but yeah, mm -hmm. it's not happening. <laughs> I know that's a great thing that you just mentioned. I always feel like the goal is to get it on Black Friday, but Black Friday comes so quickly and we're like, mm, do we really want to spend all this money on presents? <laughs> you know, is this a good idea? I do good buys to get, you know? Um, what about you, Ashley and Nikki? How are you with buying gifts? Has it changed since after your injury? I think for sure, I feel like I'm more last minute now because I sometimes wonder how am I gonna carry everything? Cause I used to go like one day and just get it all done. Like, but I could carry all the stuff. I can't really do that now. Like, mm -hmm. and and no, I don't want to though because people be crazy in Chicago. I ain't trying to get robbed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so like this, like since I've gotten injured, I feel like I do it in bits and pieces and a little more online like it's just mm -hmm. easy or a little more like you're not getting a gift yeah or like the last two years i didn't do gifts to be honest i only gave mm -hmm. ashley gifts, and we exchanged it in private so people wouldn't know that we just got each other's because i was just mm -hmm. like yeah like, you were saying it in a way. well now i'm saying oh, I'm not <laughs> this, year, this year i got stuff for people okay barely i can still go shopping and if you no see i am on a budget I'm shopping sorry. on a budget baby girl you better be happy with what you got it's not even about that it's about business right <laughs> <laughs> that shit's about to get returned and keep acting up. <laughs> yeah, it's about to get returned. I'm about to take that gift. I I if I had it my way, there would be no gifts on Christmas. And you already know how I feel about that. What? Cause, I explained to that's us. Cause actually. You don't stop. Well, that and it's not about or it's not about the gifts. It's not about Okay, tell us why. Because it's not, it's about Jesus. Being born. No, okay. but for real, why do you feel that way? Because I feel like people make it too stressful to be about gifts. And it's like, the holidays, you shouldn't be all stressed out about buying a gift. Mm -hmm. Like See, it, but it I don't be stress a, buying the gift. It should be a happy time. Okay, well, if you do, like myself, then you should be <laughs> able to not buy no gift. Yeah, I feel you. I feel like it's definitely been stressful for me, like, throughout the years, too. And some years, I've opted, like, not to get anybody anything. It's been very flip-flop with me. Uh, but now I feel like the way to really do it is to do the secret Santa thing because it just takes kind of the pressure off of the family. That's what I realized, like, to get each person something is just so overwhelming. And instead, we get to all choose the name. We get to pick that person. We have a cap of $30, $40, whatever we want it to be that year. And then we all just exchange gifts at the same time. So it kind of feels like everybody gets a gift, you know? Um, and i don't know it's less stressful and it's just easier to do so nobody's like expecting anything they kind of know that that's what we're doing um and it really helps especially my family and chris's family chris has my boyfriend has a huge family so he has a lot of cousins and aunts and uncles and sisters and brothers and all these people and so um the last couple of years we really realized like that's the way to go have you guys ever done secret sound with your family uh, yeah, we actually used to for. We used to do it with our cousins. Yeah, with now they're like now with the because our the cousins, cousins that are like around the same age. Because in our family, like once we hit what it was like seventh grade or yeah. something, do we stop getting like Christmas gifts from like all like your aunts and uncles, which mm -hmm. is or whatever. Um, and then we, the cousins started doing like a. Well, no, we did that in high school though. We started doing secret high Santa a little bit in like a couple years in college. Like once we were able to like buy the stuff. Uh -uh. Maybe for the accident. Mm -hmm. We didn't do the accident, did we? Not, a, not since after. We haven't yeah, seen the family. We haven't seen the family since really after our accident. This will be the first Christmas, like, with our whole family since then. Since, like, our accident, COVID, and all that. For Christmas. For Christmas. How do you feel about that? I'm actually excited because it's a pajama party and I'm just going to be extra. Like, I know it's going to be pajamas. Mm -hmm. with my family. Vibes, baby. Yeah, and then those are Ashley's vibes. And I then it's at our cousin's house. Happy yeah. day. I'm excited awesome. to see everyone and like have like a I guess like what is a normal Christmas because mm -hmm. it's been yeah and the food because I we like when we have Christmas just with like at the house it's different food like it's not the same like the full on like we're seeing we have a family group chat and I'm seeing the menu and I am excited. 
<laughs> that's so cool that's super dope i feel like those family vibes are so important and like you're right ashley a lot of times it is like surrounded around gift giving or it can be like such an overwhelming process i feel like even for parents you know like to get their kid the perfect thing or to make them just so excited on this day when most of the toys like just end up getting thrown in the toy box you know and like it can lose its value a little bit and i think just kind of humbling yourself and reminding yourself like what this day is about you know and um taking a little bit of gratitude yeah. in life so i love that that's a great point um i did want to say our cousin who's hosting it got a ramp for us to get into her oh, house nice. i guess they're renting I love that. For the day right or something i don't know the full details but i just know i got a text message that there will be a ramp oh and I'll that made me have feel that's so cute i think that's so cute it's the little things you know yeah and we didn't even have to ask so that was like nice, that's like, nice. You, don't, you know just shows that maybe yeah and it's probably watching. better that you guys are going now like when you guys feel more confident and you guys get to go over there and like own your space owning your space is an important thing in those types of events you know you can feel like a, you're drowning a little bit so if you guys do feel like that at any point because it probably will get overwhelming just take a deep breath remember who the fuck you are you know and remember this is just one day of your life and you just got to get through it you know I, uh, uh, go, and, go and hit a pen in the back <laughs> I'll come back to this message and be like, what did Brianna say? Nikki, <laughs> we need to meditate. <laughs> Brianna, you got to take a deep breath. They're going to be like, what are they doing over there? I'm breathing. I'm trying not to kill you guys. I'm trying not to run you then, over right now in my wheelchair. <laughs> since she has a ramp, we'll be able to leave, go to the car. And smoke. Yes, <laughs> yes. And that's another great thing. So since we're all smokers, like, let's touch on that. That's not a question either. But, like, how do you guys feel? Like, do you guys ever feel judged by your family members who don't smoke? Is there a lot of, of your family members who do smoke? Like, what's kind of the dynamic with that? See, I've, since our injury, I haven't really been around the family like that since I've been a smoker. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, okay, so you didn't smoke like that after, before your be injury? Yeah, I didn't smoke like that at all, actually, really before my injury. So, and I was a closet once. Yeah, you know. Yeah, you were a closet smoker. I was barely a smoker. So, mm -hmm. I'm a smoker now. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you feel like you're gonna own it, or do you feel like you're gonna kind of like still try to hide it and hold off? No, my family knows. I mean, I know they follow me on social media. I know they be peeping. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> hi. <laughs> okay, I love yeah. it. I love it. They react to stuff. And I'm sure I, I guess we can report back because like I don't I mean I I feel like do I post it that much anymore? Not really much anymore. Do they know you small bitch? But you know there's always, <laughs> there's always edibles for Ooh. um discreetencies. Yes. <laughs> what about you, Sean? Do you have you ever had that problem with your family? I mean, I typically like I don't like heavy really smoke over there so i do kind of keep it low key i'll bring my vape pretty much just do the vape in the backyard or wherever in the front you know uh before we eat whatever um so i do kind of go low key a lot of times i will eat like a gummy before i go an edible because i know i'm not gonna really be smoking and stuff um so yeah i wish i could eat edibles like that i get i don't know why they just make me so exhausted i don't not get the same high from edibles compared to like weed or wax for some reason it just affects my body weird. i and feel like it maya my in the chat also and she says everyone gets stoned in her fam maya, maya up in the chat we miss you baby girl everyone gets we stoned do. in my fam. i love it low-key i think we are the only ones and like like well like should i not no, no I don't. don't blast yeah. them please and like, oh, yeah, I, yeah, i'm pretty more. much the only really big stoner in my family now that cage is around and chris like we kind of all sneak off together to go smoke um but definitely during his family's house it's a lot more harder and stricter especially because it's like I don't have a way to just kind of go out of the house I need somebody to help me out of the house and so he can kind of disappear with his cousins and nobody really notices but if I disappear all the aunts and uncles are like where the hell is everybody at you know like they're all looking for us so that kind of gets a little tricky but the vapes have definitely been saving my ass like if I can at least hit that vape for a little bit 
um, or just, you know, get a couple little puffs in, it can kind of hold me over a little bit. Um, but I, I definitely feel judged. I feel judged more so after I smoke and I'm like trying to have a conversation and I just mess up on my talking anyways. If you guys watch the show, you know that I always mess up on my words. So I'm like, no, I just can't think of my words regularly. Like it's not because I'm high, <laughs> but I always feel so judged. <laughs> I always do. I think like it's important, and I feel like Mina should talk about this a lot. Like we try to change our language around it. Like we'll call it like we're going to medicate. Like mm-hmm. we're going to, we're going to smoke. Like even our little cousins that I babysit, they know it like that because Ashley goes mm-hmm. while they see here. me with the bong and they know they know. Oh, you're going to go medicate. <laughs> I feel like that's important, and I feel like people because I I don't know because I definitely like. That's why I hit it before my accident because I felt like people had ideas around it. Mm-hmm. So, like it's important sometimes, like after now, especially like to just change your language around it, especially if you mm-hmm. are using. It. Yeah, maybe sometimes we do party with it. Yeah, like on Christmas, I may be partying with it a bit, but that's okay. Yeah, there are- <laughs> you're gonna be drinking, you alcoholic, like that. That's what I'm telling. Some them. people bake food. I bake myself. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Period. Some people drink alcohol. I'm baking. <laughs> love it i love it i love the apartment (laughs) that was a great question okay uh nikki do you have another question before we wrap it up we probably um just can do a quick another round okay did we answer our favorite Um, part about krumash yeah that was the traditions isn't it or no it was so kind of yeah you right um let me see because i didn't even really look sorry um but damn I don't know. Ooh, what is the best present you ever received? Oh, now we're talking about the best. Okay. That's a good way to end it. <laughs> That's a good one. Who do you want to go? Who do you want to hear from first, Nikki? Yeah. Uh, Sean, our honorary oh, man. girl. <laughs> uh, let me think. <laughs> what would be my best present? That's like yeah. ever, ever? That's. Um. <laughs> 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 Oh, um, I think I'm trying to think of something recently. Yeah, last... What's that? Now that I'm thinking about these present things, it's so crazy how like when the year comes, you're so excited to receive those things, but like as the years go on, it's kind of hard to remember like what you got each Christmas, you know? No, I remember one. I got one. <laughs> go. Okay, you go first, Anna. Like I was telling you guys, I don't like the whole gift thing, right? So to me, it's cool to experience or get things you need or get things that like for experiences, right? And one year, my sister got me concert tickets. Oh, I forgot about mm-hmm. that. I was a right? That was my first concert. I love that. Because, <laughs> but anyway, so yeah. Oh, that's that's good. a good one. That's a good one. And that was dope, and I loved it. <laughs> yeah. And you should give me concert tickets to SZA this year. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> you can you give me some know. more. <laughs> they go on sale tomorrow, you know? Since you like experiences. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sean, do you know one? Um, I would say one of my most recent ones was probably an experience also um, a few years ago. One of my buddies, we went to like a, a Kings game and like he actually got a room out in L.A. We stayed like in, uh, you know, uh, what's it called? Uh the LA Live or whatever. I like, stayed down in the area. I went to the bar like after the game and like chilled and just had like a fun, cool night. Like, and that was the kind of same thing. Just kind of just like took me out or whatever. It was kind of in between my birthday and Christmas. It was like a combo gift thing, but it was cool. Like that, that, and that was a few years ago. I think that was actually right before COVID. Uh, that was like the last really cool thing. I think I remember kind of getting or doing um, with one of my buddies <laughs> or from, yeah, for something. But yeah, yeah just uh, cool. this year, I asked my mom for one present, and uh, it's a LL official hoodie and beanie. Just so you uh, know, you're gonna you're uh, gonna get an order soon. I told my mom to order it this morning. That is so, so cute! <laughs> I ordered it. Okay, no worry. <laughs> that uh, is super cute. That is a great <laughs> gift option. I love that so much. That's a beautiful gift. <laughs> well. <laughs> Oh my heart! Nikki, do you remember your favorite gift? Ooh, 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 I know what. It happened six months before Christmas, but 
What? <laughs> Me and your life. <laughs> She's. <laughs> 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 That was a good Nikki's one. all trying to really uh, focus on what she's saying. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, what? Like, what are you going to tell me was my favorite character? Uh, and that's hard. I don't, it's like, I'm trying to remember, like, mm-hmm. the, um, um, wow. Hmm. I don't know, it's like, for Christmas, usually I'm the type that I ask for what I need. So, like, if I need, like, hair ties, some socks. If I need new pants, like I ask for stuff I need, so gift I feel card like to Amazon. Yeah, gift card to Amazon, like you know things I need in life. Yeah. I'm just always happy to receive it, and like everyone I feel like who gets me gifts knows that. Like just give me the no, stuff that I need, or like a lot of people give me Winnie the Pooh stuff, and that's like super duper cute. Like I got Winnie the Pooh. I already know I, my Christmas gift this year from my friend because she earned it, but it's Winnie the Pooh themed, and. <laughs> And my parents got me a Winnie the Pooh charm one year. Like I just love Winnie no, the Pooh. No, that was me. Oh, it was you. I'm sorry. Wow. I'm sorry. Wow. See, I that's why I like stuff I need and Winnie the Pooh. So I always love my gifts. Mm-hmm. A lot. We're done I love that. I am very much similar. Like you definitely know like that I'm the type of person that just wants the basic necessities that I need. You know, I am literally, I'm happy that I'm always happy with perfume and lotions and like makeup and like different fun things like that. I'm literally not picky at all with it. Um, I love having extra things like that, like literally simple things as like scrunchies or like, you know, I just really like the things that I can use throughout the year that I don't have to spend money on, right? Cause it's like life isn't easy. I like literally for my secret Santa this year, I put on a, a gas gift card. Like, come on now. You know, that's how you know I'm getting old. <laughs> I'm like, give me a gas card, fuck. That's that should be expensive. <laughs> that's my, that's my No, it's like, Yeah, but I'm very like that gift card type of person. Same, like, give me a good, don't be picking out stuff for me. Mm-hmm. Yes, just give me an Amazon, Walmart, Target, any of that, I'll be, I will be happy. Like, I, I'm straight with the gift card. I know, same. Give me those. My dad does a thing where it's gift card roulette and we all just put our hands inside of like the bag of gift cards that he has and then we pull them out. Like, so there's like different ones. And so there's like Starbucks, Target, gas card, like different ones. And me and my brother is like, just kind of pull them out. And that's the best, honestly, for me, very simple, <laughs> very simple. I love that. Okay, that's I'm a good sure idea. Yeah. Roulette. See, that'd be mm-hmm. such an easy and stressful way to do a gift exchange. Yeah. Do you guys bag. Okay. <laughs> do you guys do any of like the uh, gift exchange where you can do like s- the uh, s- present stealing and stuff? Like where I've you, never uh... done one with family. I was saying, I never okay, because those are fun too. We usually we a lot of times do those where every gift can be stolen. I think two times max. So like once it's stolen a second time, it's stuck with whoever mm-hmm. whoever has it will like keep it. But um, yeah, that's fun too. I guess. So. Yeah, I played at like events and stuff like that. But it, yeah, that's a great way to not have to buy everybody something. Yeah, I feel like you that's just get the one gift. Mm-hmm. Nice. Especially nowadays, it's just prices are up. Everything's so expensive and everything like that. Even on Amazon, honestly, like I'm comparing prices from like Amazon and like other stores or like Walmart, Target, and that shit's expensive. Like it's prices are up right now for everything, oh, and so I feel like that can be definitely stressful. Um, but it's also, I feel like, do you do you feel like at all, Ashley, like, giving gifts is, like, appreciation? Because I feel like that's where I'm kind of stuck at, like, I don't want this person to feel, like, unappreciated, you know? See, but it's like, why does it got to be around Christmas time? Like, I'll just give it to you then, you know? But do mm-hmm. you know, give gifts? Really <laughs> I try. Little things, though. What did it forever? That was cute. When Jesus told you good gifts. Uh, you don't have to. Everybody gain a five dollar gift card. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, love enjoy, it. I feel like the enjoy the five dollars. Really 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 half of a Starbucks dream. <laughs> <laughs> love it. Okay, so just ending it out. So um, Sean already said what he wants for Christmas, but do you guys have any like Christmas requests of this year? Do you like have anything like that? Is your dream? um gift that you would want to receive not like really like with presents or anything but just something that you've been eyeing something that you feel like you you want right now 
my roommate over. That's all I've been asking Same for. Way. I want a new bed. I want a new mattress. I want it all because I am so over. All Anybody that, know so. an interior designer that'll help I'm me clean, organize, stuff. and make my room look adult and beautiful the way I envision? I think Ashley and I are at the point in our help injury where like we're ready to look our room. Like it kind of looks. We're in my room right now. I hate it. But like, see why? <laughs> this looks like it looks injury. like a kid's. It looks like a dorm room. Like this is. I'm not in college. I'm 28. Yeah, we didn't live here. before. Before I lived the dorm room life, so it's like we're, we're finally at the point in our injuries where we feel like we need to just make our rooms our homes. Home, I guess it hasn't really felt like home, and mm -hmm. we're here we're stuck here, so you gotta appreciate the moment and make the best of the situation that we're here. So that's in the hard part, like just figuring out how to like excuse with all of our stuffs in a room. So I just been telling my parents I want like stuff for my because I already have stuff in my cart on Amazon because I already see the vision and I need help. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to do it that's where to start i think that's great you can make like a wish list on amazon too right oh, yeah i believe yeah you can make a wish list oh. on it you can make it private i have a lot of private ones but you can make it public and then people can see mm -hmm. it like find yeah. out yeah. Sometimes people will buy it for all you. these sugar daddies in my dms i'm about to start saying that <laughs> yes please send them back your wish list yeah i know update should... that little Let instagram us know the results. that is you can Serena, update it you too. should make a wish list on there <laughs> I want but, Amazon. Yeah, those weirdos buy my stuff. Amazon wish list. <laughs> if they do, I swear. Mm -hmm. Come back uh, to us next year and tell us. <laughs> can't wait. Um, I really want. I put on also on my secret Santa list a bike tool cleaning kit. I saw it on Amazon and it's like for like bicycles and it has like a little like scrubber that's like this and it goes like right over your wheels and it has like these little like picks and everything like to get all the gunk out and i'm like this would be great for my wheelchair <laughs> like i need this right now and so i want that's not expensive it's like 20 bucks on amazon but i was like um i really want to try this out and see if it works and my dad was like i could just clean your wheelchair and i'm like but when do you do that you know you don't don't clean my wheelchair <laughs> have you guys ever, have you ever heard of that before Sean? no no i haven't I, really heard of it but that's seems yeah, logical. <laughs> Seems like a I've good idea. Oh, having like stuff to collect, a little wheelchair kit. That's a cute gift, low key, for like a wheelchair user if they don't already have it. Yeah, I think it's, and even if they do have it, because it's like brushes get dirty. You know, if you're cleaning, it's always great to have a backup. And I never really realized that as much, but my grandma's house only has wood floors, so I literally just like squeak all over oh you can't hear it right now but i'm literally like always squeaking whenever i'm moving my wheelchair i'm like damn girl like this shit has like some sticky stuff on it i don't know i need to clean it up all my hair be getting stuck in my little caster so she needs a makeover and so <laughs> when i was looking on gifts for other people on amazon i decided i want that show idea Okay, you guys, this was a great, fun show. It was great learning more about you guys. I want to give a special shout out to our sponsors, Mobility Pros and Urology Professionals. They helped us make a dope fundraiser, and it was a lot of fun. So we really appreciate them hopping on board early with us, believing in us, and kind of just supporting the dream for us to keep making content, keep bringing it your way, and keep growing, you know, hopefully meeting more people and reaching those people that need these videos. I hope you guys liked having this video this fun time with us just chill out at home have a couple laughs have a smoke have a drink and um, that's kind of the vibes that we're given and we love you guys all so much for commenting and supporting and liking our videos it means the world that you guys care you guys are getting something from our content that's why we do it so we just want to say thank you merry christmas and a happy new year and we will see you guys next year bye, bye. 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 merry christmas